Hi there, beautiful. How are we today? You look magnificent. Thank you for being here. Today, we're doing a little remake. I was searching around YouTube for some hair topics today to talk about, and I came across, well, my own channel. And I came across a video, the hair color that will best suit you and your skin tone, slash Brad Mondo, in case you forgot what my name is. That was a phase in my YouTube life. How bad this entire video was? I mean, okay, it wasn't bad. It was definitely informative. It definitely got the point across, but it could be done a lot better. I want to talk today about how to pick the correct hair color for your skin tone. So we're going to discover today what your skin tone is. Is it cool, warm, neutral, and what hair color will work perfect for you? So if you've ever wondered, Brad, what would you do for a hair color on me? Well, this is going to help you discover what you should do with your hair without me actually telling you. Even though I would like to give all of you private consultations, it's just never going to happen. There's too damn many of y'all. We're almost at 4 million here. I mean, what the... What? How did that happen? I'm gonna combine all of the things I touched on in that first video I made two years ago about this topic and combine some new ideas and simplify it a lot. That way you can get a better understanding of what skin tone you have and what hair color will suit you best. So the first question is, are you cool? Are you warm or are you neutral? Let's get it started. Let's get into things. Let's first break down what warm, cool, and neutral is. Let's go over cool toned skin first. What is cool toned? It doesn't mean you're like cool, though you can have cool toned skin and be really cool. That just like makes you double cool. Think of cool tones as stormy weather. So what do you see when you're seeing a storm happen? You're seeing a lot of blues, a lot of purples, grays. You're seeing all those kind of cold colors, okay? That is cool tones. And then the opposite of cool would be warm. So warm is a warm, sunny day. I mean, that's pretty simple. You can think of a summer day. What are you seeing outside? You're seeing the sun. You're seeing that yellow sun reflect off of everything. You're seeing orange. You're maybe seeing peach in the sunset. You're seeing all those warm colors that just make you wanna like live your best life and get a tan and like, ugh. They're very comfy colors, okay? Also think of a fire. Even though that's not in the summer weather, fire is warm. It keeps you warm. Get it? Warm is warm. The same colors that make you feel warm represent what warm is. Now neutral is even simpler than those two because if you already know what those two are, then you know what neutral is. It's a combination of both cool and warm. Boom. So when you're thinking of neutral, you can think of kind of fall weather because you see the leaves that are all red and orange and yellows. And then you see the sky, which can sometimes be cloudy and gray and purples and blues, but they're all together. They're all coexisting. And it makes one big storm of neutral. Neutral is a mix of warm and cool. Cool tones exist in the winter, warm tones in the summer, and neutral exists in between in the fall. So now that we have that quite basic understanding of what cool, warm, and neutral is, let's figure out what your skin tone is. Which of those three are you? Now, I like to first do a few tricks to kind of figure this out. This is just some fun stuff you can do at home to look at your own body and figure out which one you are. But we'll go through a lot of different ways. So just to start off, we'll talk about your veins. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Brad, what the does veins have to do with any of this? And I'm here to tell you, it sort of has some stuff to do with this. So if you look at your wrist right here and you look really close at your veins, you will see the color of your veins vaguely. If you have blue or purple veins, you most likely have cool skin. If you have green or olive veins, you're most likely warm. And if you have blue or green, you could still be on that sliding scale of neutral. So that'll tell you if you're kind of leaning on the cool side or the warm side. There's no real way of seeing if you have neutral skin tone with your veins because that would be like a combination of the both. And usually our veins are not a combination of two different colors. That would be cool. So the next trick we can add on top of that one. So now that you have that knowledge, you're like, oh, I think I have cool toned skin. Well, the next question is, does gold jewelry or silver jewelry look better on you? Do you usually find yourself leaning towards one or the other? Silver jewelry is cool, whereas gold jewelry is warm. So if silver looks good on you and you have blue veins, you're probably got some cool 
skin. And vice versa, if you have green veins and you like gold a lot, maybe you are extremely warm. Maybe. Next, you can also look in the mirror at your own skin, at your face, all right? Take a white piece of paper, hold it up to your face. Does your face look yellow next to the white piece of paper? Or does it look more pink toned next to the paper or red? If you look more golden, you are warm. If you look more red and pink, you're more cool toned. If you're seeing a combination of both, you're neutral. So those are just a few tricks you can use in order to figure out if you're cool, warm, or neutral. Now, you can also look at your genetics. Do you tan easily? If you go out in the sun, are you gonna come back home with just a beautiful golden tan, no real redness? Like you're just gonna be so sun-kissed and golden and so beautiful? Or are you gonna go in the sun and come back with just red skin, burnt to a crisp, not cute looking? Is that you? Because because you're probably cool toned. If you said you are the first one where you come back home with that beautiful golden sun-kissed skin, then you're probably warm. And lastly, you can check out your eye color. If you have blue eyes, grayish eyes, deep brown eyes, or green eyes, you're most likely cool toned. If you have brown, hazel eyes, or honey looking eyes, then you're probably warm toned. And then neutral, is just a mixture of all different kinds. <laughs> so if you're at this point and you haven't decided if you're cool or warm yet, you're most likely neutral. If you think silver jewelry, gold jewelry looks great on you, if you have warm skin but you have blue eyes, all these kinds of opposites going on, you're most likely right in the middle with our neutral fam. So now that you have all of that beautiful, wonderful knowledge about all different skin tones, let's move on to some fun. <laughs> let's have some fun. We're gonna play a game, all right? We're gonna play a game where you choose the skin tone, all right? So we're gonna have all three options, cool, warm, and neutral. You're gonna see a picture of a celebrity and you're gonna choose which out of those three the celebrity is. Are they cool, warm, or neutral? Pretty easy, the stakes are very high. I don't know what the stakes are yet, so do your best, okay? I will be playing with you. Okay, here we have Miss Giselle Boonchen. She is hot and a very pretty woman. Um, Looking at this picture, do you think Miss Giselle is cool, warm, or neutral? I'll give you a second for this one. Okay, do you have your answer? What is it? I, I don't hear you. Oh. If you chose warm, you would be correct. Congratulations. And if you didn't choose warm, well, best of luck next time. Giselle is warm. You see her rocking a lot of gold all the time and it really makes her look like she's glowing from within. I mean, she is a supermodel and she is absolutely stunning, <laughs> but the clothing helps too, okay? And the hair color and everything else going on with this girl, okay? So she's warm tone. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we have Miss Katy Perry. Woo! Hey Katy, how you doing? My question to you is, is Katy Perry cool, warm, or neutral? You take a guess and let me know. If you guessed cool, you'd be correct. She has cool tone skin. Why, you ask? Well, if you look at pictures like this one, where the warm colored hair does not quite flatter her face, you would know, well, she is probably not a warm girl because that doesn't look very good. And if you look at a picture like this with her with dark hair and you're like, wow, why does she look so healthy and vibrant? Well, she has cool skin. She also has a very pale complexion. She has pink undertones, all added up to cool skin. Let's move on to the next one. Up next we have Ms. Jennifer Aniston. Ooh, hey girl, you looking good? So let's check her out. Look up real close, get in there, figure out what's going on, and let me know if she has cool, warm, or neutral skin. So the correct answer would be warm. 
neutral. It's neutral. She has neutral skin. You know, you're seeing some pink undertones in her cheeks. You're seeing warmth in her hair. You're seeing her roots are kind of an ash tone. You're seeing blue eyes. You're also seeing a glimpse of some gold jewelry that actually looks great on her. So you're seeing a lot of combinations of warm hair, warm jewelry, cool eyes, cool skin, a little bit of glowing yellow coming through her skin. You're seeing a lot of things mixed together, which makes her neutral. She's part of the neutral gang. Okay, now let's do a speed round. Let's get through the rest of these. Up next, we have Miss Anne Hathaway. Is she warm? Is she cool? Is she neutral? We'll find out today on Brad Mondo's game show of Can You Pick the Skin Tone? What do you think she is? Give your answer. If you guessed cool, you would be correct. Anne Hathaway has cool toned skin. She's a very pale girl. She's a lovely looking girl. She's got pink undertones. She's always rocking the dark hair. It looks great on her. Moving on. Let's talk about our girl Beyonce. Ka, 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 ka. Do you think Ms. Knowles has warm, cool, or neutral skin. I'll give you a second. You have your answer? Me too. If you guessed warm, you would be correct. Yay. And if you didn't guess that, well, get better next time. I'm pretty sure you can see why she's warm. She has this very rich skin with oranges and yellow undertones. She has this warm hair all the time. She rocks the color gold. She's a warm gal, okay? Now, up next, we have Jessica Alba. Do you think Jessica Alba has cool, warm or neutral skin? You be the judge, and then I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. You have your answer? Okay, cool. If you guessed cool, warm, if you guessed warm, you would be correct. I really got you on that one, didn't I? She has warm skin. If you look at her hair, always rocking the caramel browns. It's always some kind of yellowy orange undertones in her hair. Her skin always looks like she just laid out for the perfect amount of time in the sun and got that beautiful sun-kissed glow. She has these beautiful brown eyes. Warm, warm, warm. Up next, we have Selena Gomez. Is she cool, warm, or neutral? If you guessed neutral, you'd be correct. <laughs> neutral is definitely a tricky one. I know. I know you're probably like, what? <laughs> or you're just really smart and you're like, uh -huh, that was neutral. Duh. Um, but you can see Selena rocking warm hair, warm highlights on a cool tone base. She might have dark hair with a lot of cool undertones like blues and purples. And then she might have highlights that are very warm. And it all seems to go together and work out for her. It always looks great. Her skin, you can see slight tints of yellow. You can see a lot of pink on her cheeks. There's a lot of different elements mixed together, creating this neutral vibe she has going on. She's neutral. Up next, we have Miss Kerry Washington. Is she cool, warm, or is she neutral? If you guessed neutral, you'd be correct. Thank you. So sometimes Kerry rocks the dark brown hair. I don't see a whole lot of warmth behind her skin. I do see slight tints of pink. Um, and then you see her rocking, you know, this super warm look sometimes. This golden hair, she has this golden brown, um, and you see a lot of warmth coming through her skin. Every other picture she's wearing, you know, a cool toned lip and it looks great, a very pink cool tone. And then you see her rocking some warm hair in some other pictures. You see her rocking yellows and pinks and all all different kinds of colors that don't really go together, meaning she has neutral skin. She is a neutral gal. And lastly, let's check out Ms. Reese Witherspoon. Does she have cool, neutral, or warm skin? If you guessed cool, you'd be correct. You can check out her eye color. She's blue eyes. You can see in her cheeks, she has that pink undertone. You can see her in her hair color. She often looks best in a cool tone blonde, in my opinion. When she's more of a yellow blonde, I don't think it looks as good on her. She looks very sleek and gorgeous with the cool toned hair. So she's a cool girl. So that's the end. Uh, we, we can cut it on the game show. The game show, it's, it's that's it for the game show. Thank you for for um for joining me. Let me know what your score w was. Did you do good or did you do absolute flop on that? Either way, thank you for participating. Um even though you actually didn't sign up for this game show, but now we're back to the YouTube video. We went out way for a game show and we're back. Now that we have 
so much knowledge about all different skin tones, we've become better at understanding skin tones and what they mean and how to discover which skin tone you have or which skin tone your friends or family has. Well, now we can tell you what hair color will best suit you. Now that we got kind of through the hard part, this is the absolute easiest part. I mean, you've probably already discovered what hair color will look best. You pretty much just match your skin color. So if you're warm, you wear warm hair colors. You already know what warm hair colors are. So if you're in the blonde range, that's a golden blonde. If you're in the browns, you're gonna want a very warm, rich brown with undertones of reds and oranges and yellows, things to really warm you up. Keep you cozy. You can also have warm reds where they have coppers, oranges as undertones. So it's gonna keep it very bright. Bring out that warmth in your skin. On the flip side of that, if you ended up with cool toned skin and you wanna be blonde, opt for a blonde that has very ashy undertones. So think of like blues. I know it's like hard to picture a blonde head of hair with blue undertones, but I mean, here's of course picture examples of what I'm talking about, but blue undertones doesn't really mean like you're seeing blue. Just think of a lack of warmth, right? So if you're not seeing any yellow undertones, you're seeing blue. You're not seeing it like my shirt. Blue tones do exist. They exist in order to cancel out those yellow tones and make kind of a pure white look. A little bit of a cast of blue, that's what makes it really icy. A cool tone blonde would be great. A cool tone brown. So browns where you're not seeing any of that warmth shine through. You're not seeing any oranges or reds, which is very easy to see through with browns because brown has a lot of red and orange in it. So instead, you know, the colors will have an ash undertone, which is a blue, which is gonna cancel out all those oranges and leave you with a cool toned brown. That will look great if you have cool toned skin. And then if you want to go really dark, you can do a jet black with blue undertones. So a true black is more on the cool tone scale. And then lastly, if you want red hair, well, you can do red with purple undertones. Purple is cool toned and you can have red hair mixed with that purple tone and it'll give you a lovely cool toned red. And now for neutral, you can rock any color. The neutral scale, right, is a little bit gray. So when I describe people's skin tones, when I look at them and they ask me if they're cool, neutral, or warm, and I somewhat feel like they're neutral, well then I'll often say like, oh, well you're neutral, cool or your neutral warm. So they are neutral, but they have a bit more warmth than coolness going on. Because I don't really think anybody's completely neutral. They're always kind of on one side or another, but they can still rock any color at the same time, depending on their makeup and what they have going on and their whole look. So neutral blondes, they can wear, you know, a balayage moment where the top is a cool brown. The bottom has these beautiful painted highlights that are very warm. You can wear a sort of beige blonde where it's not cool, it's not warm, it's just right in the middle, or a champagne blonde, or go with any cool or warm color. It'll complement you either way. A warmer color will bring out the warmer tones in your neutral skin, or a cooler color will bring out your cool tones in your neutral skin. Now, of course, if you don't want any natural looking color or whatever, you can also do fashion colors. So if you have warm skin, you can do bright red, bright orange, you can do bright yellow, you know, anything in that warm family. If you have cool tone skin, you can do purples, you can do blues, you can do greens, and then neutral. Go wild. Do whatever the hell you want, because it'll probably look good anyways. All right, so that concludes my lesson today on what hair color will best suit your skin tone. However, take everything I say with a grain of salt, because, well, we have this lovely thing called makeup, where you can change your skin tone like that. You can go from cool to to warm, warm to cool, cool or warm to neutral, like that, very quickly. So if you're a warm skinned person, you wanna rock that purple color, put some makeup on that complements the purple color, wear cool tone makeup and vice versa. So you can really play around, have fun with it. Don't take this too damn seriously. These are just the kinds of rules we put in place just to help people figure out what is the most optimal hair color for them. By no means do you have to stick to what I say, do whatever makes you feel good and whatever makes you happy and that is the best thing to do. So I hope you accumulated a lot of knowledge today about your skin tone. Go and help your family and friends figure out what theirs is. It's always a fun thing to do. Be like, mm, come here, let me look at your face. Yeah, you're warm. You're warm, girl. And they're like, ah! 
I am? What does that mean? Like, what color hair should I have? And then you can just like tell them and it's like fun, you know? Or just like send this video. It's a fun little trick to be able to figure out what color skin tone you have. It's great in all areas of life, not just figuring out what hair color you should have. It also helps with what jewelry you should be wearing, what makeup you should be wearing. It helps with what kind of a wardrobe should you have. So many things can be cleared up just by knowing if you have cool, warm, or neutral skin. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Bramondo NYC. Follow my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair, for beautiful, fabulous, amazing hair products. They're all linked below also. Shop now, baby. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.